Good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Lee aka Rolling Fonda and in today's video we've got a couple of audio updates. So sit back, relax, grab a cup of tea and let us get in to the video. So ladies and gents, how are we all doing? I hope you're doing well. And as the title of the video suggests, we are talking about audio updates. Now, as you guys may know, or I mean if you don't know, but you soon will do, I normally run a Micronics lapel omnidirectional microphone in my uh, Arai RX7, and uh, I've decided to try and improve my audio quality by investing in a Drift Ghost HD microphone, as recommended by those lovely chaps at 44 Teeth. Now as to how good it's going to sound and how good it's going to work, I don't actually know. So what I have done is I have added a microphone splitter to my already bulky uh, GoPro setup. If you look in the mirror, you see it just here, this little adapter. And I am running both my Micronics microphone and the Drift HD microphone at the same time. And hopefully with any luck, we will get some decent audio from it. I can tell you from indoor testing that the, uh, the Micronics does exceptionally well and so does my purple panda microphone and the drift hd microphone but out here in the real world is where the real testing begins now like i said right now i am running both the micronics and my drift ghost hd microphone at the same time because i believe that running the two microphones together will offer me the best almost stereo kind of sound i know the audio in the micronics is still very very good even though it's a couple of years old whereas the drift hd microphone is literally about three days old and after having a look at my original drift ghost s microphone that i had from back in the day when i had the drift ghost s camera on the side of my helmet i have discovered that Oh, puppies. The uh, original Drift microphone that I had was actually a mono microphone, not a stereo one. Bridge! So with having a mono microphone, when you listen to it back on headphones or on speakers or whatever, it would only come out of one side, which is less than convenient. So what I decided to do was, was to invest a couple of quid into the Drift HD omnidirectional microphone which apparently is better than the original and hopefully this test on the way into work this morning will justify the purchase. This video will be split over morning and afternoon so please be with me because this video may get a bit sporadic and a bit higgledy piggledy. At the moment I'm riding in the morning testing both microphones together. On the way home I will probably be using either my Micronics mic on its own or the Drift HD microphone on its own but regardless of which way it happens I will let you guys know at the time of recording but like I said this video is going to be split over a couple of hours so unfortunately I have to work and I spent two days this week on my days off messing about with different mic locations different mic setups different types of wind muffs and dead cats and I even saw a guy on YouTube yesterday I think it was that was using a balloon or the end of a finger off a rubber glove to help cut down the wind noise and I attempted that but listening to it back indoors it just sounded way too muffled I mean it's probably brilliant for track days and stuff like that but for everyday riding and vlogging I think it's probably a little bit too quiet because uh, I know they say there's a lot of stuff you can do in post editing with audio to try and drown out or reduce wind noise and ambient noise and blah 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 which is all well and good but in an ideal world ladies and gentlemen I should not have to do that I should be able to literally just record my video the audio sound good clip it trim it edit it whatever I need to do to it and quite literally bung it in my editing software finish off whatever I need to do and boom done so I'm hoping that with uh, 
my absolute monstrosity of a setup that I've got going on at the moment. I'm hoping everything's staying together and I hope it's working. Because if it's not working, I'm going to be massively pissed because all the talking I've done so far would be for absolutely fucking nothing. Also, ladies and gentlemen, while I've got the opportunity, I will give you guys a little bit of an update on Gunner. He's just turned a year old, so happy birthday to him. Well, I say just, he turns turns one on the 8th of March, which was literally like just over a week ago now. And uh, needless to say, he's becoming a rather big boy. And uh, he's also becoming a heavy lump. I don't mind telling you guys now that uh, previously, when we took him to the vets to be weighed, they said that he was about 33, 34 kilos. I don't know what the conversion is into pounds and ounces, but you guys can do that bit of math yourself. And uh, basically we were told that Gunner was about 15 kilos underweight. Or oh, sorry, I lie. The vet that we saw at the time said that he was an okay weight for his inverted commas age. But me and the missus did our own research and actually found out that uh, pressure canarios that are around a year old should be somewhere in the region of 50 to 55 kilos. So, yay. So needless to say, Gunner has been fed, not excessively, but definitely get, being given enough food to get his weight bulked up to where he should be. And uh, he's looking a lot healthier for it, I must admit. There's a lot less baggy skin around his face, a lot less baggy skin around his mid middle. So he's looking a lot healthier, and the weight that he's putting on is slowly but surely turning into muscle. And like I said, he's becoming a very, very big heavy boy, which is all good. But anyway, back to the topic at hand, trying to run two microphones at the same time. Now I know most motor vloggers don't use two microphones. It's not really commonly done. Unless of course you're using, say for example, a, um, a Bluetooth communication set like a, a Senna or a Cardo or whatever. But uh, I figured I'd give it a go to see how this uh, dual setup would work. My only worry is, is that if it works and it works well, that the connector that I'm using right now is uh, literally just a cheap uh, Poundland headphone splitter, which seems to be working really well. Well, I'm assuming it's working really well. I won't know what it actually sounds like until I get it back in the computer and on the edit. But from my indoor testing that I did the other day, I'm thinking it's going to come out quite nicely. Or well, at least, fingers crossed, it will do. And if it does work out to be a good fit and it does work, I will need to get myself either a, a, a additional uh, TRS splitter jack or at least find one so that if the one that I'm currently using in my helmet decides to go bang I've got something to replace it with I'll be honest I don't think this uh, this splitter is going to go bang anytime soon because let's face it it's a Poundland splitter which I've had for about 15 years and every time I've got to use it the thing has worked perfectly now whether that means it's going to continue to work perfectly if I'm using it on a, on a uh, daily basis remains to be seen if it's working right now which judging by what I'm seeing it is admittedly it does look like a little bit of a monstrosity having um, two wires hanging out the face of my helmet however like I've already said ladies and gents this is just a test and as long as it works I can reroute the wires to look a little bit neater, a little bit more inconspicuous, and less like I've got, uh, or should I say, less like I've head headbutted a pylon. As you can see, well, I don't know if you can see, but I'm hoping you can. Nope. The smaller microphone that's running around here, that's my Micronics microphone, which I usually use. This long straight one here, that is the Drift Ghost HD microphone that I'm attempting to use at the same time. So I'm hoping, and indeed praying, that what I'm doing is working, and working well, and all this talking that I've done has not been in vain. Oh yeah, it's a Patrick's Day soon, isn't it? You'd think I'd remember that considering I'm half Irish. But no, I forgot. But to all my Irish followers, if I have any, happy St. Patrick's Day, whenever that happens to be. It may have already been and gone by the time you watch this video. If not, happy St. Patrick's Day! Also, ladies and gents, just going back to the whole microphone dealy, how's the noise from the L1 coming across? I'm hoping it sounds good. 
I do know that, uh, like I said, when I tried doing the tests indoors, admittedly I did have the old one running for a minute just to see what the ambient noise would be like. And uh, it seemed to work okay. But like I said, testing indoors without wind noise and other vehicle noise and stuff like that doesn't really offer you the best kind of result I guess which is why I'm doing a field test this morning while I have the opportunity to stop start and ride through traffic on the way to work also ladies and gents I will admit to you all now I am NOT a sound engineer so any noises and crackles and pops that you hear now is going to remain in the video because like I said I will not be able to hear or change anything to do with the audio in post because I just don't know what the fuck I'm doing and it's probably best that uh, I'll be transparent with you guys now about that rather than uh, say oh yeah the microphones are brilliant they all work blah 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 I need to then lie to you all and be like oh yeah it works it works but it really doesn't because that's not me as you guys know I'm all about transparency on this channel I don't see the point in lying because you get found out eventually whether it be a white lie or a dirty great big lie it makes no difference you'll get caught out eventually and when that happens no one will trust you ever again and actually I want you guys to trust me because I'd like to think that uh, the 700,000 followers that I currently have you guys are getting some kind of benefit from the videos you know a little bit of knowledge a little bit of comedy a little bit of everything as and where possible as always ladies and gents without your guys support the channel wouldn't be where it is now and again this video may be a bit sporadic and it may be a bit higgledy piggledy because I'm trying to do a few different things audio wise in terms of field testing and uh, getting some kind of idea as to where things are going like this dickhead on the push bike doesn't know where the fuck he's going right now we've got the Micronics microphone on the left hand side of the helmet as you wear it and I have the uh, Drift HD microphone on the right hand side of the helmet as you wear it I'm glad I stopped then because there's a police bike on the other side of the road but yeah I don't know if you can see in my mirror nope. but in terms of location I've got the um, Micronics mic just here and I've got the Drift HD just about there uh. oh excuse me and the uh, like I said the purpose of this test is to basically get an idea of what uh, running two microphones will be like how good or how bad the audio is going to sound and see where we go from there but anyway as I was saying this is the first field test of running two microphones in my helmet like I have also said and I'm more likely going to repeat myself at least another two times before I stop the video the audio or should I say the microphones are set up in such a way that I've got one either side of my face literally about maybe six inches apart inside the helmet and the idea is is that I'm going to try and get as good a stereo output as I possibly can and yes okay the actual layout looks absolutely fucking horrendous and I do apologize for that but it is what it is for the moment because like I said what I'm trying to achieve is the best possible audio that I can because audio is more than 50 percent well equal to or more than 50% of the video so if the video sounds good people will watch it if it sounds shit but looks good people generally won't watch it so as you can imagine I'm trying to get the best of both worlds having the uh, GoPro Hero 7 Black has done me well for the last two or so years well I'm saying I've had it longer than that I don't actually remember when the Hero 7 came out but I've basically had it since its release date whenever that was and I'll be honest I don't know if I should should uh, upgrade to the Hero 10 I probably won't purely because of the fact that uh, I've seen a few videos especially one by a guy in Australia called Moto Fields that's Fields with a Z who has uh, reported various issues with his GoPro in terms of uh, it turning itself off it's uh, not recording or not uh, the media mod not recognizing the microphone and stuff like that at the end of the day that's not what I'm about I want good video I want even better audio if I can help it and having the opportunity to run two microphones at the moment as a test 
will hopefully stand me in good stead for the future but like i said this is going to be a bit of a jumpy video in terms of what i do and where and when so before you know it the video will probably be dark and uh i'll be talking about the same thing but at the opposite end of the day so for now ladies and gentlemen with the parody internet i shall see you at the end of my working day see you in a minute six hours later welcome back ladies and gents you join me at the end of my working day and this is the second half of testing microphones on my gopro hero 7 black now in the initial installment earlier on in the video i said that i was using both my micronics microphone and my drift ghost hd microphone in this evening's portion of the video i am now using solely the drift hd microphone just to see how good or how bad it is on its own as you guys may or may not be aware i normally use the micronics microphone on its own on the left hand side of my helmet so it's tucked away just inside the left cheek pad of the uh, Arai RX-7V But today My Drift Ghost HD microphone Is currently sitting on the right hand side Of the RX-7 Near enough mirroring where the Micronics microphone is And uh, for as long as I possibly can I'm going to try to ride with my visor down so you guys get a decent back-to-back -back sort of test as to which one sounds better and which one doesn't because as it's starting to get darker I am more than likely going to have to put my visor up any minute but at least for this early part of the video or should I say this earlier part of the evening ride you can at least get a decent idea as to what the sound quality is like with the visor shut you've already heard from previous videos how good or bad you might think the uh, micronix microphone is i think it does all right for a tiny little lapel microphone but the uh, drift ghost hd is a slightly bigger omnidirectional trs microphone so i'm hoping i'm going to get a little bit better audio from this either on its own or in conjunction with the micronix microphone hopefully one way or another we shall find out which one is better and i'm going to put it out to the public vote as to which one i should stick with so as you can probably tell I'm not going very fast doing 17 mile an hour with the visor down I'm not going anywhere particularly quick but for now this is what the uh, the the visor down audio sounds like on the uh, rx7 and i'd love to get your guys feedback as to whether or not you think the twin microphone setup or the drift on its own microphone setup or the micronics microphone setup on its own is the better of the three now, if you want to hear what the micronics one sounds like unfortunately you'll have to go back through some of my older videos and listen to them as um i didn't think to do a video on its own but either way if you want to check out what the micronics microphone sounds like on its own please feel free to go back and have a look at some of my other videos but as i was saying as of now this is the drift ghost hd microphone on its own with no additional accessories added or taken away all the drift microphone has is its standard foam wind muff and that is literally it no other accessories no other sound deadening devices or anything like that literally just raw audio just like it always has been and now unfortunately ladies and gentlemen it's getting to the point of the day where it's getting a bit dark so i'm going to have to lift my visor so please bear with and hopefully the audio quality stays as good as i hope it's going to be uh, visor open now as you can probably tell i'm a little bit suspect of this microphone because the previous gen microphone that i had was a mono mic so it only recorded one channel so it didn't actually record as good the audio as i hoped it would whereas when it was plugged into my ghost drift s it actually recorded somewhat half decent audio if not some really poor uh, really poor video but like i said what i'm hoping to achieve with this current setup is to be able to have both microphones running together through a splitter jack which i've recently ordered on amazon so i'm hoping with any luck the audio quality will remain the same if not better if it gets worse i'll be massively pissed but what i'm hoping to get from the twin microphone setup is not just a uniform kind of sound like a almost surround sound 
but also get a good representation of what the old one sounds like because you guys know that the uh, my 1098 sounds absolutely insane with the Terminioni exhaust you know the bike's been on the channel for nearly seven years well six years give or take a few months whereas the R1 is obviously still the baby of the channel as it's only been with me for a couple of weeks well I say a couple of weeks more like three months but the point I'm trying to make is the same I want you guys to be able to enjoy the sounds of the R1 just as much as I am riding it so in a way this is not just a couple of microphone tests or should I say a microphone setup test this is also a little bit of ASMR again using a different microphone <laughs> Uh, oh, excuse me. So hopefully you guys will get the benefit of hearing what the new microphone sounds like or the new twin microphone setup sounds like and also get a bit of ASMR from the R1 itself. And like I said earlier in the video, I'm no sound engineer. I don't profess to be, nor do I uh, profess to say that I know what I'm doing when it comes to audio <laughs> because I don't, I'll be honest however, I've kind of taken the stance of if the audio sounds good to me it will sound good to you guys obviously you guys can tell me your opinions and what you think is better like I said earlier the first portion of the video is literally the Micronix microphone and my Drift Ghost HD microphone connected together using a splitter jack and in this portion of the video the evening part that we are currently in it is literally the ghost hd microphone on its own no splitter jack involved or anything like that literally is what it is and i'll be honest i could not have chosen a nicer day to do it okay admittedly it is kind of kind of chilly but nothing I'm not used to but with the uh, stop start traffic it does give me a chance to assess how good or how bad the drift HD microphone is when I go to edit the video and not only that it also gives me a decent representation as to where I'm heading in terms of the actual audio quality I know the Micronix lapel microphone that I was using does work very very well it's been a stable on the channel for a number of years and would you believe I paid probably about 12 quid for it on eBay? I think this particular microphone now is about 20. But then again, you know, things cost a lot different five years ago. As you can imagine. However. However, as I was saying before I got distracted by the MT-07. You know, the economy's changed, money changes, value, blah, 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 blah. Covid hit and so on and so forth So right now with the way things are I can't really afford to do stereo Micronics at the moment Or should I say dual Micronics So I found a slightly cheaper alternative in the Ghost HD like I said And uh, we shall see how good or how bad the audio is When we get it into the PC Get a bit of editing done and then you guys will know what it's like just as soon as I do with regards to the microphone placement if I haven't already touched upon it I currently have the Drift HD nestled just nicely on the right hand side of my cheek pad like I said earlier in the video what I'm trying to achieve is I want to try and get almost a stereo setup of the microphones so that even if one of them or both of them record in mono it will still come out semi stereo if that makes any sense whatsoever and not only that whichever microphone works the better or has the better result should I say it will obviously pick up the sound of the bike the sound of the other vehicles the sound of me talking a lot better and again just like with all my videos I try to make my content as good as it can be sometimes it works out well sometimes not so well I do try my best but sometimes technology is against me also if you hadn't already noticed I've got rid of those horrible gaudy indicators that are on the front of the bike so she's now nice and clean and if you have a look in my in the reflection of the shop just there 
you'll be able to see my indicators flashing away in the in the window now like i said this isn't the finished product in terms of my motor vlogging equipment i'll always be looking to improve as and when i can i don't think i'll be going to the hero 10 just yet because uh, i've watched many many videos saying that they have glitchy problems and audio problems and stuff like that and i could do without those added issues as well as trying to make the audio quality and the video quality as good as it can be as we approach springtime if there is such a thing anymore you'll probably gather that i will be riding with my visor down more often so hopefully that will help with the audio quality regardless of which microphone it is i use but like i said this is nowhere near the final product oh how i love the reflection of the old one in people's cars just two massive beady eyes staring back at staring back at me like i always say ladies and gents thank you for sticking around throughout the entire video it does mean a lot and if you aren't already a subscriber please do consider subscribing it'll be great to have you on board and if you are subscribed don't forget to smash the like button and ring the bell so you're kept up to date with all notifications and all new content when it drops but with regards to the actual audio quality between the twin mic setup and the drift ghost hd microphone on its own please feel free to put down in the comments below which one you think sounds better I myself will not find out which one sounds better until I put it in the edit at the end of the, at, uh, the, end of the ride. So I will find out which microphone is better near enough the same time you guys do. Or in the same circumstances as you guys will. But like I say you guys, I'm hoping the uh, audio quality will be just as good, if not better, regardless of which microphone I'm using. I know the Ghost HD microphone, or the older generation mic that I used to have, works pretty well on the Ghost S camera when I had it so I'm hoping for similar if not better results from the Ghost HD microphone on the GoPro also the using the standalone Ghost HD microphone was inspired by like I may, I may have already said I can't remember if I did but was inspired by those lovely gents over at 44 teeth been watching a lot of their content recently and uh, just hearing how good Boovie's audio sounded just by using the Ghost HD on its own I'm hoping for similar results to what they've had if not maybe slightly better because I, I don't think they use any wind protection on their microphones I don't know if it's I don't know if I'm right in saying that or I might be wrong I don't know but uh, I watched a video not too long ago which I will link either in a card above or in the description of the uh, motor vlogging stroke camera setup that they made using the GoPro Hero 7 Black with the mic adapter and the uh, Drift Ghost HD microphone which is basically exactly what I'm using right now so hopefully you guys will be able to see what I've done hey what's this naughty business why is my man wearing a suit on a S1000 R? that uh, is what it is he's to their own I personally wouldn't be wearing a suit while riding a super bike but there you go I'm hoping with any luck that uh, with a little bit of fine tuning a little bit of tweaking here and there we will slowly but surely start creating the content both visually and audibly just like the guys at 44 teeth and the likes of chase on two wheels motonocity six foot four honda uh waterific 650e fast lane d and all the other guys that i follow I follow too many of you so please forgive me I can't remember everyone as much as I'd like to I can't my brain's not as good as it used to be but you know who you are I've mentioned you before in the videos I've mentioned probably loads of times how inspirational and how influential you guys have been for me to do that do all the motor vlogging business but anyway as I was saying ladies and gents if you've got any comments or any questions regarding my mic setup please feel free to put it in the comments box down below and I'll do my best to answer them as and when I can. I do apologise that this video has been a bit sporadic and a bit backwards and forwards with different elements at different times of the video. But I'm hoping you guys get the gist of where I'm trying to come from or what I'm trying to achieve in terms of getting the audio quality that I want. So anyway, ladies and gents, thank you for sticking around to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and you got something out of it. Feel free to like, comment and subscribe. If you've got any comments, feel free to put it in the comments box down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, 
You have been absolutely fucking awesome as always. I have been Lee, aka Rolling Thunder, saying look after yourselves, look after each other, stay safe on the roads, be aware of COVID-19, be safe, be happy, and as always, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, adios!